are working on PowerPoint multi-project one. We're on the fishing project. The first task asks us to go ahead and add the summer success to the subject property line. So we need to get into the backstage view and you can access that by clicking file. Scroll down because you probably don't see that. We'll click show all properties and then down here the subject will go ahead and type summer success. Make sure you not to hit a space at the end. My students tend to do that. Um, just click off of it and then we'll go ahead and click the back arrow to get back to the presentation. We'll click mark completed. The next step tells us on slide two to go ahead and change the percentages of 10, 12, and 60% to a specific color and then to equalize the character height. So I'm going to go ahead and select this 10%, the 12%, and I'm holding the control key down as I do this um, to select a multiple text. Go ahead and click light blue. If you're not sure, hover. It will tell you what it is. And then we have to equalize the height. So we're going to click font dialog box. And then right here in this effects, we can click equalize character height. We'll click OK and click mark completed. Task three has us still on slide two. We're going to select this image because we are going to apply a shape style to it and a shape effect specifically. So with that selected, we have the drawing tools format tab and it is a shadow and it says inside bottom uh, diagonal bottom left so if you're not sure hover make sure you select the correct thing I selected left but I needed right so that would be helpful inside diagonal bottom right we'll click mark completed that's why you hover to make sure that you selected the right thing slide five uh, the next task four has us to go to slide five take this picture and we're actually going to crop it so we'll be with this uh, picture selected we'll click the format tab that we have added because we have the picture selected. We're going to go to the crop. Now, not just clicking crop, but click the drop down and we're going to crop to shape. And then we're going to find the oval, which is right here. And notice it crops it to that shape. We'll click mark completed. And task five asks us to go to the last slide, which is slide six. And it's telling us to, uh, on the last slide, use the list to create a basic process. So I'm going to go ahead and select my text. Here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say convert to smart art and I'm going to click more smart art graphics. Now, it is a process and the keyword that that process uh, is a keyword because you don't want to have to dig through this entire list. And the first one happens to be the basic process. So if you're not sure, hover and it will tell you what you have. And notice it populated all that information for me. We'll click mark completed.